Onivia, League of Legends highlights. The Poppy, you can flex it a jungle. Very good against Callista and Lee Sin. It's a great pick for Peanut. You put the Rel in the support role, which into a bard lane, you're completely fine with. You're not going to have any troubles there. And yeah, I think for me, Hot Link, there's a caveat because with Rel, you have Hex Flash and also you can W over walls. So not a big deal, but this might be the payoff is they're going for a dive. Well, I guess this was the whole setup, and T1 are not feeling good about this anymore. Delight is going to take a bunch of damage, but it doesn't matter. It's first blood over to the side of Viper. I see them slightly earlier. He, yeah. But now he has his his Poppy just being a human ward. Oh, Pino was setting up for that, and he's going to hit it. As, let's see the damage into Owner. He's in a bit of trouble, can't dash away. So fast Presence does go down as Flash on in from Peanut, and he's going to pick it up. The kick comes out late, and Peanut just... Very oh, casually yes. picks up a kill, and now Zekka coming on in. Zeus in a bit of trouble. Faker's making his way over. The charm is down. But Faker not really able to help out too much in this, and now Zeus just left all alone. Zekka going to pick up that kill, and Hamalife Esports with some big wins here in the early game. Now they're going for a bit more, as Goomba doesn't have cleanse once again. Is forced to flash away in the queue. It's going to land, oh. and it's barely not enough damage. So close. Loving the aggression from... Played already. Yep. Guess who's back? Back again. It's Peanut. Oh, man. He doesn't actually have Smite, but they're looking for him. Ooh, he's not going to get knocked on the wall, but it's still a good angle oh, for the charm. And Peanut just steals that one away with his ult. Might as well. And this R5 Poppy getting all the value. And the power of this Ari. Oh, Doran might be in trouble. Yeah, Doran does not have his flash, so he's going to get sent up against the wall, and they should be able to uh, set this one up pretty easily. Not much recourse for him as he'll do a bit of damage. But look at this once again. Now it's Guma who's on the crooks, just going to get isolated by himself. Oh, for the return, there is a TP on Doran, and he <laughs> might regret going for... Oh, he's going to immediately regret that. Yeah. He wishes he uh, cancel. The timing, very unfortunate, and uh, he's dead. Not much you can do except not TP in this case, and just identify, hey, well, I got a kill on the bottom side of the map. It's a free lane for Viper, maybe I should carry it. It's one way to put it. And uh, not very fun to get Dove in the top lane. We've seen this about eight times today, it feels like. As Bear comes down, Zekka in a bit of trouble. Oh! And just gets flash incinerated. And he's dead. Just got absolutely bopped there by Faker. And, you know, Zekka's been moving out a fair bit. And Faker's kind of just been holding strong, picking up a lot of farm. Got a pretty substantial chest lead. It feels like Honor Life Esports overall definitely have the edge. Poke, boom, boom, damage. About to grease us on the rift. Oh, good man. Yeah. Bit of an angle here, as owner might be caught in the crossfire. We do have teleports available, and that is going to be dodged this time from Guma. Also has clans, but the damage is already coming out here. The teleport is channeled by the both of them as they are trying to get on top of Viper, but the peeling is coming away. He's just sprinting away as far as he possibly can, and there's the peel, but owner gets in as he is going to take on the Lethality Vars, and now Delight's in a bit of trouble. Double stun comes in from the side of Caria, and T1 are turning this fight around immediately. Down will go Doran, and one by one, the dominoes fall. Peanuts should be able to keep themselves alive, but that's three kills for T1. Yeah, T1's so quick to respond on the play. Um, not because I thought he was going to die. I knew the quest was there. Um, yeah. And I assume Honor Life Esports did. Hammer Tech Dragon. So Zekka's going to take mid to one. And actually, T1 have backed away, taking some heavy poke here. Yeah. And this seems like the best scenario for... You will, you will fall behind, to, unless you eventually get some kind of engage. But you're going to lose those health bars as long as the... I mean, can they? <laughs> like, they got to do something, but they're not even getting in the river. Unfortunate angle on the Q there. But yeah, this is just gone as Kerry is just going to face tank and face call out. And that's Chemtech Soul. Yep. And now you're really not. They really haven't found any angle ever since like that one fight. As uh, maybe this is an angle. Doran a bit out of position. The Q is going to miss, as is that one. But maybe just brute force will get the job done. And that it will. That's a kill for Zeus as he flashes on top of Doran. Yeah, good capitalization. Doran just a little bit overextended there. Uh, and ends up getting taken down. Not sure they'll be able to go oh, carry it. Oh. <laughs> well, you can take another try, I guess, or you might just get CC'd 100 to zero. So yeah, no fate's call that time around. It's the end of that. And now Faker, he's not looking too uh, good in this spot. As 4v1, Hamalife Esports get two picks, and now they're going to start up the Baron. And I think that's just Baron gone, because you have Doran a TP in. Me, I can just go through again, and then he just doesn't get to move. Like. 
15 seconds. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Oh, he and looks now like Caria is dead. Feet Skull, just kidding. Uh huh. Uh, owner also getting in there. Now we have a flank from Zayus. This is a very nice flank. He's going to force the flash out of Viper, but the follow up from Delight might be enough as the double knockup comes in. They don't quite take out Zayus, though. And now Viper is all alone. He does have Doran coming on in. And Zayus is just going 1v5 oh. on the top side. But he eventually does get taken out, as you would imagine. Even Aatrox, not OP enough to win that one. Way. And then Ghostblade and just run as fast as he can. Faker tried to catch him out, but the peel came in. And then oh, even yeah, on the back end, Snipes carry it. Because it's so easy to hit when they're all just running at you on the same angle, you know? And Hollow Life Esports, again, so cold on this one. They're going to get the charm on Asaius is once again. The CC Castle comes in. Asaius is going to get sealed. Faden tries to go over the wall, but immediately denied by Peanut the Poppy. Once again, more value is flashed on in. And that should be the end of this one. Caria going to get wiped up as well. The charm before the disengage cone as well to not get Faker out. And it won't be an ace, but it is going to be a very clean victory to the side of Hamalai Esports. They've got a wave in the bottom lane, and they will look to end. Yeah, just a great setup. You know, they cleared out all the vision. They forced you want to come into them. Landed the pole, got the engage onto the Aatrox, and cleaned up from there. I feel like this has been such a good game for Hamalai Esports. And people questioned... Oh, boy. <laughs> didn't question that. People questioned, you know, can Hamalai Esports challenge T1? Is the gap between two and three that big? And the answer is no. At the moment, certainly not. Says Hamalai Peace Sports going to take a very dominant win in game number one. And Playing it. A lot of LCK supports like just just pick the Rakan. It's good. It's good and engaging. Very reliable. And they will lock that one in. So I don't think there's nearly as much of a clear that play. Um, oh, the light. Nice dodge there. Has his flashback up. Peanut just. Getting some trading damage in. Carry is pretty low at this point, but so is Delight. He's not going to land the Q either. As Peanut thinking about a steal. But that's 1v4, and I think he's just going to have to get this one up. And that he will. T1 big commitment to that first Drake, and they okay, get through it. I didn't get time. I think it was Zekka. Probably he is highest, yes. Uh, Peanut is here. Doran going to pull him back. Delight also here. Zeus in a lot of trouble. He's got some help on the way, but flashed on with the charm and just no cues available. First blood goes over to Peanut once again. And yeah, the rest it's of them. as if you flash and Faker flashes and then you're just trading. But uh, Peanut pretty far behind it. Ooh. Ooh. And now Zeus got a flash and he's getting TP'd behind. I don't think he even realized, but now he's trying to trade here on a door and he's so dead. The charm nice now. rings true. And again, this time Doran's yeah, actually... Doran does have TP. Yeah, he's ready if they do need him. And this is feeling like old times, just flipping for the uh, Rift Herald, and he's dead. Peanut just gets 100 comboed from there. Guma nearly dies as well to the poke from Viper. And now he's kind of out of the fight, as now this front line is just being tipped away. I don't know going to get that Crescent Guard, though, and a oh. big Nico ult from the push, but... He's only a support Nico. Carrier is eventually going to go down. So it was some nice uh, CC, but that was about it. Doran now in the front line, though, is kind of alone against the wall and the rest of T1. And that will be a favorable trade for T1. They might be able to pick up this Rift Herald, although. In that yes. mid wave. Yeah. Already a bit of damage. Decent amount of sticks in the dragon, but actually. And now they're gone. Viper's just firing piercing arrows from this brush out of vision. So hard to deal with them in this situation. All right, we have a wall. Doran up against that said wall, just running around, reloading, getting ready. There are the chains, but that is a Shin Zhao. Now Peanut desperate to try to get into the pit as the Q comes in and he spikes early. It's not going to work. T1 take down the dragon. And that is a win for them. They've also got this Rift Herald in mid to try to get a push. Um, I don't know the Susan to tank it up. Oh. While. Yeah, not gonna get that much value from it ultimately. I think they could have just wrote it. One to just be a bit of a turret of his own. Now saves. He's got some help from Faker, but we have lots of rotations coming down to the bottom lane, actually. Oh no. Doran up against a wall and the rest of T1. He's gonna get a double knockup in and an all out now on a Faker. He's got Rakan nearby. Delight, a, a rare miss actually on that knockup but it might still be enough as Doran is going to take him out. Meanwhile, in the jungle, a big fight going on here as well. Peanut going to be taken out, and Doran eventually will go down. So now T1 charging up the bottom lane. 
as Viper not able to do enough. Yeah, and as you said, Eight. Delight yet, but does have the fully stacked here. Okay. Two big ults traded. I would probably say the Ari ult more important, though, for the fight. Yeah. You know, if this were a mid Nico, maybe could say differently, but... At this point in time, Zeus in the top side, we do have the Chains of Corruption on the owner just to delay his impact on the streak, and they're just gonna turn around. Carry is almost dead, it's now Homelife Esports. They just wanna take the fight here. They don't even care about that Drake, but now the rest of T1 are coming in, and Zekka, he doesn't have an ulti, he doesn't have a flash, and he will go down. Baker in a lot of trouble, though. He's gonna be taking out some low health bars as well, as here comes Doran, gonna pull in owner and keep him around. The Crescent Guard is not gonna help oh. against the Kasate, who is assassinating this team. Team. Say who's trying to go for the 1v4. That is not going to work out as the rest of your team is dead. Thorin playing that fight so well, managing to get that double knock up at the end. You know, I don't have Viper or Delight ult. Those are big cooldowns not to have. Yeah. And, and this is not from, a from the top lane. This is not a fast Baron. Yeah. It's a slow Baron, in fact. As now the wall is going to come in. They are going to try to turn this one around. Stun from the rocks. Bit of damage into Owner. Who will struggle a bit into the poke before he uses that ult. As here comes Carry against the double knockup and the root down onto Zekka. He will go. And look at this. Doran also isolated on Life Esports. They wanted this fight. They asked for it. And T1 oh. said, hell yeah, we'll go for it. As into that back line goes Owner. Viper is going to go down. And Delight will meet a similar fate. That's a very broken up one this time around. Started by Carry. It's looking good for the side of T1 as Peanut still on the run, but... <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to keep running. I don't think he has a chance of getting back in this Baron Pit in a great fight from T1, a great angle to punish. I really think the lack of the ult from the virus and the... Uh, you're losing turrets, you're losing yeah. control of the map very quickly. T1 don't need this dragon. You know, obviously, Honor Life Peaceful is a long way away from Soul. Oh, this. Yeah, he's going to catch out Zeus, and this time the chains get huge value as he even flashes at the end. I know Aatrox is strong, but yeah, he was pretty dead at that point in time. Yeah, a lot more value. Barris ulting the Aatrox instead of the Zinzao, looking like a good <laughs> angle for Honor Life Esports. Yeah, helps that uh, he got caught out now. Uh, Doran is taking a bunch of damage, actually. Look at the poke coming out as now Charm comes out, but Doran immediately dies! And Peanut's super low as well. The damage from the side of T1 is just huge, and that will be Mountain Soul to T1. Yeah, damage is getting laid down, and it feels like Honor Life Esports' frontline just got overconfident with the situation, more focused on the Dragon instead of the fight. The damage comes in, the cleanup is there, and T1 managed to pick up the Mountain Soul. Well, I guess they might get oh, area. Interrupted. Yeah, very unfortunate timing. I think he might actually get away now. Uh, I see. He uh, changes well. to Talia, so it's Faker who dies, not him. That's how it works, right? And they got fooled by Wait, the Wait, he's away! Well, and now Owner is coming on over. And Faker is here as well. Faker is pumping so much damage. I mean, look at his build. It's just damage. <laughs> like, it's kind of insane. It's now a very broken up fight. Zekka trying to do something onto the support. Carrius but Carrius still is still so alive. Free. And he will survive. Delight will not. That's that's such a tilter, honestly. Um, yeah. It's kind of like walking in the front door and nobody's home. They're like, huh. Well, I guess I'll make myself comfortable on the couch. Yeah. Nobody's here. <laughs> and that's two free inhibitors. They had a snack, and now uh, I guess they're just going to go home. Baron's timed out, but they can honestly just move towards the bot lane, probably spend a bit of gold first, but then just push in while the super minions do the work for them. Guma has found a peanut. Yeah. Wow, that was a lot of damage. The whole team is there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're getting away from this one, Peanut. Nice kick, but Kerry has something to say about that. And that'll be the end of him. Just caught out in the jungle. Thought he could leave his base. Yeah, and there's no time pressure on T1 here. They can just wait for the super minions to push in. And Honor Life Esports, this tower is already so low. They're dropping the wall. Yeah, they're just diving into the turret. The wall comes down. Uh, he does get bounced on over, funnily enough. And Orin is is quite tanky. Yeah, but they're just hitting the inhibitor at this point in time as Zeus. It's going to go down. They do take out the Aatrox, but it's three inhibitors down. Yeah, very hard to get back from this position. Oh. Okay. Who hit? Uh-oh. Uh yeah, he's... Oh, oh God. <laughs> he's just dead immediately. 
and the down will go the next turret. Looks like T1 has finally broken into the base. That's another pick off onto Zeka this time. And down will go the Nexus. We have a series on our hands as T1 will tie it up and bring us to a game number three. Yeah. But pretty interesting. Definitely a, a very scrappy composition from the side of T1, whereas a bit more control. He's the fastest. Uh, he's very fast. <laughs> True. Um, here's Lee Sin. The slow comes in and the flash charm does land on Azeka. Do they have the damage though? The orb comes in and Owner! Oh, he's going to get first blooded as they will pick up the kill at least. But Zeka will be pretty happy about that. And this feels like deja vu. Chovy did the exact same thing as uh, Zeka did there. How you play Alistair's matchups where you're playing more defensively is when the support engages on your AD carry. You just headbutt Zeri away. Uh, he doesn't have many cooldowns now. He is going to get the Pulverize once again, but now he's down a flash, and the chasing potential of Lee Sin and Zeri will eventually catch up to him. So it's going to be a nice early start. Um, at least Viper is still alive, and he can stay stacking, so he doesn't really have to That's lose too much. That's all he cares about. Oh, my support died? Pretty much, yeah. Can I stack? Yeah, cool. I'm good. Actually, yeah. The, the cow is just... <laughs> Just there to... Zeus knows someone's there, but not that it's specifically Delight. I Zeus. think you may be dead, buddy. <laughs> well, he's got Flash. He just likes to just go down. And... With four people in the top lane, I think he'll be okay with that. But yeah, uh, now so... they've definitely seen him, and Kerry's also seen the control ward. And I think he'll be <laughs> dead. Well, I mean, he is going to... Yeah, no, he's... he's... Um, nice little dive. They see carry up immediately. They say, hey, let's just dive the Zeri because he only wants to kill them with his Q. Yeah. Obviously, it gets a lot easier later when you can just Q a wave as the Smolder and just kill like yeah. seven minions at once. And obviously, you can waste a lot of time doing that, but especially in Smolder. <laughs> the mental victory is there. <laughs> and we're just setting up for a Rift Girl fight. Okay. Fake Hill just came up. And we're just gonna go for the flash forward from Carrier. It doesn't get much of anything as it's gonna go to Faker actually. Peanut in the pit. He is living for so long and he gets over the wall as well. Nearly gets another passive in there, but it's still going to be a nice little one for two trade in favor. Delight be here again for the 17th time. He is. Suspicious. And it's not only Delight, it's also Zeka. See some poke already coming down here from Doran and Viper. You gotta be careful not to stay right behind the Drake, or it will bounce onto you. And the Maokai ult here going to kind of corral them as here comes Boom to help out as well. Carry is getting so low, and the steal comes in from Owner. But now with Carry it down, it looks like Hamalai Esports do want to capitalize as much as possible. Let's we'll see what they can do. And take down this tower as well. Especially valuable when they do want to be setting up for Baron. Uh, but that's a TP <laughs> and a wall. All right, nice charm off the wall. Faker experienced some of those himself. He has. Done it well, as now kick comes in, and they just don't really want to take part in this, but the Maokai ultimate is going to keep them around and make this very awkward for T1. That's some really low health bars to flash on him for Peanut. He assassinates Faker, and now Carrier just trying to frontline, just trying to make some space for the rest of his team, but Zayu's TPing in as well. He's on the run, because he's not going to do anything by himself, and how if he's worse, might look at this Baron. Yeah, I mean, it's just spawned. You have an Alistair. If you get control of the area, you can easily deny Owner from getting into the pit. No. They have wards set up. <laughs> you have to be careful for Doran to not lose his life to the Baron. Yeah, Pina is also low, and there's a storm and I got the Aatrox. Oh, they're just trying to turn at this point. Uh, uh not sure, actually. And now Zeri's getting an angle. The kill lands on a peanut. Owner, he threats the needle, and he's going to take him down. As now, oh, oh god, where did he go? Guma just plucked out of the air, and that's going to be the end of him. Owner, super low as well. As now we got TVs coming in, though. Faker looking for the cleanup. But Viper just going to flap over the wall. And again, it's very early, so it's not like Faker and Karia can do this Baron. But Faker would like as many kills as possible, as the charm is very pretty. And he will pick up yet another one. So many cinders all over the floor is my takeaway from that fight. Get the but, Sonic uh, rings. Pick them up. It's not 225. Maybe an ult could get them. Uh, they're just going to give it up, though, looks like. We got a wall coming in as well. Owner, I mean, they're throwing everything at him just to make sure. OK, I think he will definitely have it in time. Oh, oh it's Delight. Oh, he wanted that. Definitely did. It is Zeri, but 
And you can definitely feel G1 know the time has been put on. Oh, no. Uh, oh. He's just dead. Okay. Well, Charm comes in, and now the Wombo coming in. Look at that knockback from Zekka, Gary, and Kuma. Nearly both die instantly. It was looking okay, actually, with the Zeus damage, but man, he was outdone by the Talia this time around. And I'm just going to say, you know, I've been pretty critical Lucky. coming in. Uh, well, you don't have a smite, so very doubtful that they do take it away. But let's see if they can get any cleanup. As he doesn't Baker, have his yet. Uh, he yeah, have his. he just doesn't have his smite. <laughs> oh, God. As Faker going to get rooted up and, um, you know, scolded by Mom a little bit. But that's about it. And the poke is pretty annoying to deal with. I mean, carry on the Nautilus. He is a support Nautilus, and he's not farming. So he's not that Kuma. I mean, he doesn't get to play the game. Yeah. Esports. Oh, here we go again. He gets it again out to two tankier members, but he's got his whole team there, and they all just burst to smithereens. It's now how will I esports five v three? Maybe they can end this game. Peanut kind of being harassed here on the left side. They don't have a wave, and they have ten seconds on the Baron buff. Yeah, who needs mid or mid prior? They haven't even taken the tier two, and they're just pushing down bot lane, and it's actually just working. The siege is powerful. They don't really have a response to the. Smolder right now. Zeus, he's trying to cut off the wave. Pretty desperate. Charm isn't going to land, and you know what? It's going to get Hummelife Esports out of the base. But now Zeus is on the run, and the TP is coming in. <laughs> he's going to stop the charm. Will Peanut, and he gets away. And Zeus just runs away after all of that. Uh, either way, uh, a lot better in that situation. Dragon now up again, and Hummelife Esports. Oh, man. Have they overstayed? Well, Charm is going to miss, and they get the Infernal Drake. Some low health bars, though, oh. and Viper just flaps over the wall. We got Nolten onto Peanut. Somebody, I think, is going to have to sacrifice here, but now Mom called down and Owner is gone. And Delight, he gets the knock up here onto Kuma, who is just gone. And now it's 80 carry versus no 80 carry. Immediate cleanse comes in from Viper as he wants to burn some health bars. Oh boy, does he. Zeus is going to get away. And at the end of the day, it looks like maybe Faker and Karia also go down, but they're going to spend a lot of time chasing. The hardest thing about playing Smolder is resisting the urge to flash Q when someone's slow. But yep. uh, Viper not going to waste his flash in this situation. But definitely just showing the advantage that Hunter Life has right now. Delight is still alive. <laughs> oh, the flash. Just not to get knocked up and secure the kill. Not oh, sure about that one. Not sure about that one, Faker. Faker was hoarding all of the cinders. <laughs> if you want some during the cast. Uh, they're just going to try to burst down the dragon, the Baron, rather. And it might work out. I mean, it's not that fast, though. And now, just setting up for this one, Carry on the outside again, he's not that tank, he's just gonna burn the smithereens again, and now Viper, he's got an arm guard, dodges all the damage. Zeus desperately wants to take out this little baby dragon, meanwhile, Guma's going 1v3, he's gonna be taken out. And how many Esports, they have a TP into the base, as Zekka will try to end it, and they will try to stop these two's backs. Yes, I think it'll work. This is TP as well, so you can just Ooh. go back now. Oh, but Baker. he can't go to the Nexus turret. Good luck, Faker. Um, <laughs> yeah, Faker's dead, and now we got a second TP in. This yeah, one is over. over. Jace will put an end to this one, and Hama Life Esports with the big win over G1 tonight. A 2-1 to victory in a close series, and it keeps them 